just barely see him. There we go. Here we go. Smoked him. Welcome back to Call of the Wild. Hopefully everyone had a really good weekend. I want to give a big thanks to all the people that came out to the stream yesterday. Like I said before, that was the first time I was able to stream in over six months. So thank you. Well, would you look at that? I believe we have a rare leucistic hen meller duck and she's about 50 yards out. Can't really see her, but I don't think we hit high that time. And here she is. She's actually a piebald. Oh, and the reason I actually found this spot is by a person named JJ Wells and he has a YouTube channel himself. He does call the wild and he also does fishing sim. Um, I don't know if he does fishing planet or not, but anyways, he has a really cool video about hunting whitetail and really good spots for whitetail. And that's how I found this spot. So yeah, if you want, go check out his channel. I'll put it in the description and let's head on over to that spot and see if we can find some decent bucks. All right, so we just got to our first spot here and we actually have a couple of black tail doe feeding right here. I think what we're gonna do is take a shot on one of them just to get a nice practice shot, get a nice start of the hunt going here. They're about 20, 22 out. Go for the shot right there, right tight to the front shoulder and dropped her. All right, we'll just pick her up right away and right lung, stomach, liver shot. There we go, there we go. We got a decent, a real decent four. Really cool rack on him as well. Did he spook? All right, well this buck's out here at 73 and he knows something's up. We might get a little bit closer, but not too much. Probably closer to 60 right there. And I'll take it. All right, let's have a look. Pretty good sized buck to start off. And ended up getting a middle neck shot at 63, so not a bad shot. All right, looks like we got a real decent four sneaking up on us here. Really cool looking rack on him. He's about 20 yards out. Trying to sneak in behind the tree stand, so we'll get ready on him. Uh, it's not really a shot. Where is he going? Got him. Got another pretty good buck over here at about 70. I kind of want to go for this shot. Because he's perfectly broadside. And he's down right there. So he just tipped over. That must have been lung. At about 72 out. And I just saw another buck right there. Kind of a medium size. Yeah, it's a three. Strange looking rack though. Okay, so he's actually about 30 out. I think we're gonna go for a shot. And now he's walking. Stopped and dropped. Try for another one, nope. Kinda want a bonus, just cause. And I think we'll get ready on this buck here. That's another good four, 50 yards out. Let him get a little bit closer. Okay, so he's 40. Yeah, about 40. He's 40. Get ready on him. And he stopped right in the brush, but still made a nice shot and dropped him. Man, there is deer pretty much everywhere here. Okay, so before I forget, I want to show you guys the location that we're at. We're just to the east side of Belmont and right to the west side of High Lake right here. So we're pretty much right in the middle. Go to... Belmont and just go straight to the east this little lake right here There's actually a need zone from 5 o'clock until 9 30 here. I've never been here during the day before I have been here once at night, but uh, it's a totally different story during the day. That's a cool looking buck 63 out on him. I just wish the wind would go straight so I could actually take a shot See this is not a good angle So we don't have a shot anyways, and it probably would have been helpful if we actually would have brought our bear collar but honestly, I don't even think the bear collar works anyway, so there's no point. Because, I mean, if it doesn't call him brown bear, I don't see why it's going to call him black bear any different. So let's actually get ready on this buck here. Cool looking rack on him. Oh, it's about to take the shot, too. Gotta be patient. There we go. Dropped him. And I think that's a nice... Okay, that's the other three. Okay guys, so the wind actually shifted and it's blowing right back directly towards all the bucks and all the bears. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hop down, pick up some of these deer, well, pretty much all of them, and we're gonna go change the time, come back here, and hope that the wind actually shifts in our favor. We'll grab the bear collar and see if maybe this bear will come in. But yeah, let's hop down and see how we did. But first, it looks like we have another buck right here, just a smaller one, but it is another buck. And man, we hit that thing far back, but I think we got liver and lung on them, so that's okay, I guess. <laughs> No, we got stomach, liver, and lung. So that's actually a pretty good shot. This guy looks like a pretty good four. I actually might get this one mounted because I don't think I have one with a rack like this. No, this is only a three. This is only a three double lung shot. Still a really cool rack for a three though. And another gold double lung shot. This was the other three. So there's a couple of pretty nice threes with the same type of rack. If it was a four, I would probably mount it, but I don't think I'm going to get three mounted. So this must be the big four. It is the big four. 878. And I definitely do not have one with a rack like this. So we should indeed get it mounted. Nice double lung shot at 39 yards. Can't complain about that. And this is our bonus that we took. The doe. 47 yards out. Double lung shot. Well, I can't find any blood, but I see a deer down right here, and I think this should be our buck. Yeah, that's our buck. Looks like we hit it high in the shoulder blade, maybe? Too high. Yep, too high. All right, here he is. Let's take a look. That looks like it was a pretty good shot, actually. Did we hit vertebrae? Tell me we didn't hit vertebrae. We hit the vertebrae. 77 yards out, and we're just a little bit too high, but I mean... Honestly, not a bad shot though, just a little bit too high. Otherwise, it would have been a perfect shot at 77 yards out. Pretty decent buck though, 172 for the trophy rating. And we'll take the 1,028 cash. So that is what we're looking for. That's a monster four and another monster f Actually, can I not spot that one? Okay, no, so there's two monster fours. They're both probably close to 900s. Now, I don't know if these guys just got here or what, but I didn't see them before. So let's try and get back in our stand. First, what was that? Got a doe. And a small three, but yeah, that's a beautiful buck. Let's try and get back in our stand and see if we can't call these guys in. All right, guys, so we just got back in our stand and take a look what we have coming in. The big old buck. So, I don't know where the other one is, but I feel like if this one's coming in, the other one shouldn't be too far away. I don't really care where the other one is. All I really care about is that we have one big buck coming in right now, and that's what we're going to focus on. We have a decent wind, but the wind keeps on shifting. I swear, the wind just goes in circles around here. I don't even know. <laughs> he is trying to bust us, but we can't let that happen. There he is, 50 yards away. Just barely see him. Okay, so he's about 40. He's going to step out here any minute now. There he is. It's not really a shot. There we go. Here we go. Smoked him. Big buck down. <laughs> awesome. Take a little better look at him. And let's pick him up. Wow! I mean, I knew he was going to be big, but that's a 940. Pretty close to a diamond. Holy. Double lung shot at 32 yards out with a trophy rating of 185. Very cool looking buck. I mean, how do you not get a 940 score in Blacktail Mountain? feel like we have to i wonder if we actually got the bigger of the two so we've been waiting for this other big buck to step out not that we didn't already get a giant but i want to see if this other one comes out he doesn't seem to want to show himself so we're going to head on over to another location and see if we can't find some white tails all right so we just got to a new spot here we spotted a decent white tail buck coming our way kind of a cool looking rack on him about 200 yards out we also have a doe in front of us here so there's a good chance there should be some more bucks coming well, it looks like we definitely found some whitetail. We're over here at this really good spot that I found. I actually picked up a track and it led us to 17 different whitetails. 
Look at them all. So I think that guy, no, not that one. I think this one right here is the one that I kind of want. He has a really cool looking rack, really wide. I feel like it should be a gold and he's probably the biggest one of this whole bunch. So yeah, there's nothing too impressive here, but there are a ton of white tails. There he is, got him, 30 yards out. That's him right there. Okay, so I know it's him. Just gotta be patient. Come on, turn back, turn back. Whoa, what are you doing, what are you doing? Okay, come right underneath us. Don't really like that angle, but not really leaving us much choice. Oh, there we go. Smoked him. See, if you have patience, it pays off. All right, here he is. And he is a gold, 800, six score, double lung liver shot. Really cool looking buck. All right, now let me show you the second location that we were just at right there where all the white tail were. Well, right here's where we got the black tail. So let's go up the road a little bit to the north. And right along here, there's a need zone right here from five o'clock until nine. We have a tree stand right here. So yeah, just go right there. Five, six o'clock in the morning, you should be golden. And a trophy score of 184.2. So overall, not a bad sized buck. I mean, there's a ton of deer there, but there really wasn't any giants. I'd say we got one of the biggest ones. So overall, it was a pretty good hunt. And I think that's going to be a good way to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you next time. Not even going to give us a shot, is he? Wow. Ooh, that was uh, almost a vertebrae shot, but he will go down. It was a vertebrae shot. It was actually double lung and vertebrae, so a little bit too high on that, but I'll take it.